The airline industry has faced a number of challenges throughout the pandemic, one of which is an alarming increase in unruly passengers. Earlier this month, Delta CEO sent a letter to U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland asking that all airline passengers convicted of an onboard disruption be placed on a national no-fly list. And joining us now, the CEO of Delta Airlines, Ed Bastian. Welcome back to GMA3. Always good to have you with us. So do tell, how would this work and why do you think it's necessary uh, to actually have a no-fly list? Well, TJ, good to be with you and Amy as well. You know, we've all seen what's happened in the in the air and the, the incidents of rage that we uh, we see has, has outraged us all. And we're doing everything we can at Delta to ensure that our customers and our employees are made, uh, kept uh, safe as possible. And while those incidents, particularly on Delta, are very few and far between, nonetheless, we think it needs the dressing. And while we have our own no-fly list at Delta, we think any individual that's disruptive aboard an airplane that gets in the way of customer and uh, employee safety needs to be addressed at the highest possible level and actions have consequences. And with the Omicron numbers trending downward, and we're certainly hoping they stay that way, what do you think spring and summer are going to look like with your airline, not only with leisure travel, but also will business travel take back up again? Well, you may know that President's Day weekend coming up here uh, this coming weekend is the official start of the spring travel season, and we know people are ready to go. Uh, Omicron is receding. You see the restrictions coming down. You see people's uh, comfort level being out in public at uh, the highest level post-pandemic. Uh, the last uh, week, we saw the three highest booking days that we have seen in the last two years. So customers are telling us they're ready to go. And I think not just leisure travel, is going to be uh, great for the spring, but also business travel is starting to come back uh, even more. We're about 50% of the way back. We've got a ways to go. And then international restrictions are coming down as well. So I think it's going to be a robust travel period. I encourage everyone, if you're going to be traveling, to get out and get your tickets as early as possible because there's going to be a lot of a lot of demand for those seats. Yeah, and I, I've been on a lot of those seats over the past two years in this pandemic on Delta planes. And I know you've had to pivot and make a number of changes, safety measures, measures put in place that you wouldn't have had to anticipate before this pandemic. Will some of those measures you've put in place stay in place now going forward, even once we're through this period of our lives? I think the biggest thing that we're going to make sure that we maintain is the focus on cleanliness and wellness aboard our planes and our airports and our clubs. Uh, we want to make certain that coming through this pandemic that customers understand that Delta has their back and that we're going to provide the safest, cleanest operation possible. And we didn't get a chance to at the top there. You should have said Happy Valentine's <laughs> Day to you, uh, Mr. Bastian. But uh, you're saying Happy Valentine's Day to all the Delta employees. All of them, do I have this right, are essentially going to get a Valentine's Day card from you with some cash in it? <laughs> yeah, they are. They are. It's a wonderful day. We always celebrate Valentine's Day as a special day here at Delta. It's a special day of appreciation and thanks. Uh, typically, this is the day that we distribute profit sharing checks to all of our employees. Uh, this past year, we were able to eke out a small profit over the last half of the year due to their hard work. And uh, all employees are getting a check uh, today, uh, as well as a card. I'm going to try to do my best to see as many of them as possible. I'm here in the Atlanta airport, and I started my morning uh, down in Palm Beach. And I'm going to be as virtual and physical as far as I can to uh, thank them all and let them know how much we appreciate them, because they're the ones that provide everything that we can uh, for you guys. Uh, Delta this past year won just about every award there is in the airline industry, and uh, it's all because of their hard work and dedication. Yeah, and I think, Ed, maybe this is the perfect time, because as we started this segment with you talking about unruly passengers, uh, any words of wisdom, messages you want to give the people who frequent your airline in, in terms of what they might want to do or say to your employees who have worked tirelessly and uh, very courageously throughout this pandemic? 
Well, if you can uh, express your appreciation uh, to our people, uh, thank them. Uh, we had to stay open uh, throughout the entire last two years because our service was an essential service in our country. So when the governments were telling individuals to stay home, not to leave home, not to travel, to isolate, our people needed to go out in harm's way because people needed to get by bedsides of, of sick family members. Doctors and medical workers needed to get to the front lines of the pandemic. Supply chain workers needed to be out. So many reasons. And while our numbers are real low in terms of the number of customers we are carrying, uh, we are doing it with, with all the, the regimented service level and safety uh, and cleanliness protocols that you can imagine. So thank them for what they've done and tell them you're glad to see them. I know they're glad to see you. Well, we assure you we have done a lot of flying. We continue to fly a lot during the pandemic and of course we had to, but uh, Really, they, your airline and all, uh, flight attendants have just been doing some incredible, incredible work. So it's good to have you as always, Ed Bastian, CEO of Delta Airlines, and we'll see you down the road, all right? Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.